So in this video, I'm going to do a review of these Knox Nuts wheel locks made by a company called Delta Cycle. So let's start by reading the package. It says Knox Nuts Skewer Set, High Security Wheel Locking, Theft Prevention for Quick Release Wheels, Replacement Skewers with Knox Nuts. So essentially the idea is, if you have a bike which has these quick release skewers, which allows you to easily, you know, remove your wheel from your bike, that of course makes it an easy target for a thief if they want to just steal your wheel and you haven't locked your bike in such a way that your wheels are locked too they can very easily just grab on here release it and then steal your wheel so what you can do is you can take your quick release out and replace it with one of these and as you can see these skewers don't have one of these handles on them so to actually be able to release your wheel you need to use this special key that they provided for you to be able to take it off. But what if your wheel doesn't have a quick release and it just has a solid axle like this one which screws on with a nut? Well, Delta Cycle thought of that as well because they also sell this product which has these nuts in here. So what you do is you take off the regular nuts that you've got on your wheel and you replace them with these ones. And again, you're not gonna be able to grip onto those nuts with a standard wrench. You're gonna need to use their special tool to be able to loosen off those nuts to be able to remove your wheel. Let's take a look at what it says on the back. It's like Fort Knox for your wheels. Without the tool, stealing your wheel becomes an extremely frustrating challenge for a thief. Please register the purchase using your unique serial number. Without it, we cannot supply a replacement key if needed. So there is my serial number, and so if I go to their website and I register it, if someday down the road I lose this key, they'll be able to send me another one. And then there's also a diagram showing how this all goes together. So the skewer goes through there like that. There's a spring that goes on this side, another spring on this side, and then this special nut gets screwed on the end. And these ones are very similar on the back. The same written message, and then there's another diagram showing how this one goes together. Alright, so I open up the package, and inside, as we saw before, there's the short skewer, a long skewer, and then of course the special key, which is used for tightening this on. So I'm going to start with the front axle which uses the shorter of the two skewers. And I'll start by removing the quick release skewer, so that's very easy. You just have to come in here and grab the bottom of it and pull it back, like so, so it's kind of loose like that. And then you just grip onto the other end here, and then you just start rotating this off. Of course, rotating counterclockwise from this side. And that becomes loose, and just be careful you grab this extra spring that's on the other side here. And that just pulls off like that. And I'm just going to assemble these back together so I don't lose those pieces. And then I grab my Knox nut replacement skewer. And I'm going to start by screwing off this special nut from the end. I can just do that with my finger. It's not tight on there. And just like it showed in the diagram, we want to keep one of these two springs on here. So that it comes through from the other side and pushes up against the spring. So I'll just insert that in through the back, through there like that. And then this little piece goes on there like that. And then we grab the end here. And we just start to tighten it up with our fingers. And now as you see, as I get closer and I keep tightening, this outer ring is spinning, but the inside one won't spin because I can't grab onto that. So that's where your special key comes in. So you line up this outside ring so that it's lined up with the inside notches. And that key goes in there like that. And I just spin this around to tighten it. So, so far I've just got this on here so that it's finger tight, but that likely is not gonna be tight enough that you're gonna be able to rely on this to not come loose. So if we take a closer look at this key here, you'll see that there are two holes on it in addition to this special shape here. Now the smaller hole is just a keychain ring so you can attach it to your keychain so you'll have this you know tool with you wherever you go in case you have to do some kind of a repair on one of your wheels on your bike on the fly but this other hole here that's a little bit bigger it's actually not a circle it's actually a hex shape and it's designed for a six millimeter allen key to fit inside there so with this attached on here like that you can just get a standard allen key set or even a loose allen key and this is the six millimeter one and I can just insert that into this hole here and I can hold it on there like that and then I can apply much more torque by using the tool on there because I get more leverage. 
And the procedure is much the same for the back wheel, except this time I'm going to use the longer of the two skewers instead. So now I'm going to test out the one for solid axles, so I'm going to install that on the front wheel of my green machine here. Now it's important to note however that this product is available in three different varieties and it's based on the thread pitch and the diameter of the axle. Um, as far as I'm concerned this 3 inch inch one, that's the most common, it's what I see the most. Um, it's pretty much on every low end bike, that's what it has. Uh, so make sure you buy the right size for the bike that you have. So I'm going to start by removing the old nuts from the wheel and you could use a 15 millimeter socket but I'm just going to use this adjustable wrench for this demonstration. So just loosen that off after you got it started with the wrench you should be able to finish it with your fingers. On my bike I have these little washer things with a little tab on them which lock in here which is kind of an extra safety feature in case for whatever reason your nuts get a little bit loose off, this little tab is still going to prevent your wheel from falling off in this direction. So I'm going to keep those on and I'm just going to start by threading this Knox nut on here on this end and just like on the other one, after it starts to get tight this outside ring will turn but the inside one will not. The key that came in this package is exactly the same as the one that came in the other package. So I'm just going to align these and put this key on there like that and then I'll continue tightening them until it's hand tight, which is only about to there. And then I just get my Allen key and insert it in the end there and continue to apply torque to make sure that I get this on here so that it's nice and tight. When I'm working with this I'm finding that it kind of works best to have one hand on the Allen key and then the other hand so it's kind of pushing on this surface to make sure that these teeth stay engaged. Alright so I got that on there nice and tight now. And now the same on the other side. And just like the quick release ones those went on there really easily. Alright so now I'll give you my opinion of this product. So when it comes to security in the past I've said that there's never really going to be a way of making something 100% unstealable. There's always going to be some way, if someone really wants something, they're going to be able to find a way to steal it. However, there are lots of products for your bike which you can use to discourage a thief from stealing it because if your bike's a little bit harder to steal than the one that's next to it, they're probably going to steal the one that's next to it instead. So with my experience with these Knox nuts so far, I think that they're a good idea and it's a well-made product. When you're locking up your bike, of course you can always use your lock and thread it through your wheels so that it will discourage a thief from trying to steal just your wheels. However, locking it up in this manner may be more time consuming, so knock nuts may be a better alternate option. I like that knock nuts has their own unique tool, which you need for removing your wheel when you're using the knock nuts. If you're familiar with working on bikes, you'll already know that there are certain tasks which are almost impossible to do on your bike, unless you have the special tool which is needed for doing that task. For example, if I wanted to thread this freewheel off, what I have to do is I have to get a tool which can go inside there and grip on the inside of this circle. So unless I have this really specialized tool which has the exact right diameter and the right number of teeth on the outside, it would be really hard to get something which could go inside that hole there and get a really good grip on it to be able to thread off this freewheel which is often on there really tightly. So in conclusion it's nearly impossible to remove a freewheel without this tool. So now theoretically it's going to be almost impossible to remove my wheel without this special key. Alright so given that theory I'm now going to test and see how easy it is to be able to remove this without this special key. So I'm going to start by using a tool like these vice grips and try and grip onto the outside of this to see if I can spin it off. But as you see as soon as I put them on there this outside piece spins very easily but it's this inside piece that you actually need to grip to be able to loosen it off. So I think this is a good design having this outer piece here because it blocks the inside so that I'm not able to you know, really grab it from anywhere other than these three little points on the inside. So next I'll try with these needle nose pliers. So I'll basically just stick the end 
and stick these needle noses into two of these. Of course, I can't grip onto all three of them like I'd like to, but I'll just try gripping onto these two here, and then I'll try and grip onto this really tightly, and then I'll try and spin, and it slipped. It looked like it moved, but it was just this outside ring that, that moved. Let's try that again. I'll just grip on here really tightly and try and spin it, and that doesn't want to move at all. And I made a couple little nicks in the outside here, so I shouldn't try that too much more uh, because then my key might not fit in there properly. Now, if you've ever worked on a bottom bracket, you'll know that there's a special tool like this with a little notch in the end here, which you put on here and it grabs onto these notches. There's three of them on the outside of this lock ring here, and it goes in there like that. So the Knox nuts is kind of similar. So I'm gonna try this and see if I can use that. So now I'll try this piece in here and I'll grab onto the end there like that and try and spin it. But as you can see, because this circle is so much larger than this circle, it doesn't actually work because when I rotate this, this part on the end gets pulled out. So with just a few tests, I concluded that for the average person that doesn't have this special tool, it's gonna to be nearly impossible to be able to take off one of those Knox nuts. Now, interestingly enough, as this product becomes more popular, it's actually going to become slightly less secure because everyone that buys one is going to get one of these little tools and then there will be lots of tools out there and it'll be easier to come by one of these. Of course, it'll be always harder to come by one of these than it is to just, you know, grab an adjustable wrench, which is available everywhere. So, of course, these are still always going to be a big improvement over just having a regular quick release in there or just having a nut on your wheel. So anyway, that concludes this video review. If you're interested in purchasing your own Knox nuts, I'd recommend going to deltacycle.com. You can order them online or you can also order them through some of your local bike shops. I've seen their products available at one of my local bike shops. Special thanks to Delta Cycle for sending me this product to review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. And thanks for watching.